Hey guys, just a quick video today on the word Bible and how the word Bible itself is showing you where the true words of God are. Uh, this is going to be a video about English as the destination language of the Bible. Um, God has made everything beautiful in his time, Ecclesiastes 3.11 says. And if you don't believe that the Bible has come from a seed that is grown and that in his timing it has been made perfect and beautiful in that sense, then you are opposing yourself. Uh, this video is going to be about God putting things inside of things. I've been speaking on that lately. God loves to put things inside of things. Uh, Proverbs 25, 2 says it's the glory of God to conceal a thing. And the honor of a king is to search out the matter. So God indeed loves to put things inside of things. We're going to see how he does that to emphasize to you the true words of God in the word Bible. Uh, this video is going to be about witty inventions. Uh, Proverbs 8.12 says, I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. So if you do not believe that God has many witty inventions in the destination language of English, because it was the destination language for the Bible, and you don't believe that God likes to put things inside of things in order to do witty inventions, in all this, to not believe is to oppose yourself. That's all you're doing is opposing yourself. And finally, in this video, we'll be looking at how everything that God does matriculates his glory back to himself. It goes out and then it comes back in and it resettles according to the glory of his word, the King James Bible. So let's jump into this. and Let's take a look at this. Now, here's the word that we're going to be dealing with. It's the word Bible, B-I-B-L-E. We're looking at the destination language of English for the Bible. Uh, this will show you that indeed English is superior to Greek. Uh, it would be Biblos in Revelation 5.1, uh, seeing in God's right hand, the one who sat on the throne, a book, a book in his right hand, a Biblos, that's a Bible. But of course, in the refined English, which is the refined Greek and Hebrew, we're going to see something perfect come forth out of this word. Um, Psalms 11.3 says, it is the, uh, I'm sorry, if the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Foundations are very important to God. This is God 101. God has a Bible. And you have to understand that the foundation for everything that God is doing is based upon his word and the integrity of his word. So it's very crucial for us to be locating God's word. Okay. Psalms 11.3. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Now here's the English alphabet, A through Z. I put John 7.15 here because... The uh, people, the Pharisees, they marveled at Jesus, it says in John 17, 15. And they said, how knoweth this man letters? You see, Jesus wasn't known for words, speaking words. Uh, he was known and marveled at for knowing letters. Now, those letters made up words because letters are the foundation of words. Without letters, you cannot have words. So letters are extremely, extremely important. And Jesus is recognized for knowing letters. Because English is God's destination language for the Bible, God concentrates on using letters skillfully uh, because they are the foundation. And if the foundation be destroyed, well, right, what will the righteous do? Okay. Now here's the letter I. This letter is very important because of its placement. God has placed the letter I as the ninth letter. He's given the letter I to the place of fruit bearing because nine is the number of fruit bearing. Think about the woman bearing the fruit of the womb in the ninth month. Uh, if you take the fruit of the spirit, you have 
nine fruit of the spirit in Galatians chapter five, verses 22 and 23. Um, those verses 22 and 23, uh, that's two plus two plus two plus three. That's a nine right there where you'll find the fruit of the spirit. And Galatians uh, is the ninth book of the New Testament. It's all about fruit bearing. Nine is the number all about fruit bearing. Consequently, the letter I in the alphabet, the foundation of English, stands for fruit bearing. Now, conveniently, conveniently for God, that is, and not so conveniently for his ardent critics, nine, the fruit bearing number, equals one plus six plus one plus one. So we see that nine fruit bearing is the 1611 number. Now see how God's put 1611 in nine. He likes to put things inside of things. If I go back here, see how he's put nine inside the letter I? See, this, this is wisdom, Proverbs 8, 12, wisdom, uh, finding out knowledge of witty inventions based on God concealing things, okay? And him putting things inside of things. So if you deny this, you're truly opposing yourself and you're never going to come to understand the true Bible, the words of God, the letters of God. So here we have it. I, the ninth letter, as a one plus six plus one plus one, a 1611. I, in the mind of God, stands for the 1611. He has put it inside of it. Now take a look, okay, right here. I, the ninth letter, nine equals one plus six plus one plus one. So you see all of the I's I have up here, they all are representing the 1611. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Do you remember the word that I had here on the previous slide? It was that word right there, Bible. You see, the word Bible in English is built up of I's. B is the built up letter I. B I. B L, also the built up letter I. And E, the built up letter I. I is foundational. It is the letter of foundation in the English alphabet. And it is the foundation of God. This is why when he constructed the word Bible, he has the 1611 foundation in each letter of the word. Again, Biblos, because of the O and the S, could not do this. This is again showing you the superiority of English over the Greek and the Hebrew. English being the refinement of Greek and Hebrew. English coming out of Latin, back to Greek, back to Hebrew. This is great. Now here it is. When you look at the cover of anything calling itself a Bible, this is how you should see it. Just like this. When you see the word Bible, you should see it intrinsically to be implying 1611. God's telling you which Bible is from him. Now, quick question. Is the word Bible the only word in English that is letters built up of the letter I? No. There are other words as well. And this is what has to do with the matriculation factor. All of English is designed not only in this seeing letters built up of I, but in other ways as well that I've demonstrated in my videos to matriculate glory back to God. The English words resettle themselves. They come back to God to resettle according to his number, 1611. This is just one example of how that takes place. God breathes out. He breathes out a word, and that word brings the glory back to settle to him in its original 1611, or according to its original 1611 source. You're seeing it here in the word Bible.
So I hope that's edifying to you. As you begin to understand God 101, you will come to understand more how he finished the King James Bible. This is just one small part showing you. But your faith needs to believe this small part. And every small part, and soon all of the small parts, will become very, very expanded in your mind. And God will have secured you to put faith in his perfect words. Amen.